ear confusion um, because of the amount of imprinting that's happened because of people uh, viewing print and believing that everything that's on the print has something to do with them. Uh, but it does, uh, only in the sense that uh, it requires uh, someone who's deceiving someone uh, to obligate you uh, to be part of the deception to believe whatever's on the print. So if you're being deceived by a piece of paper, um, it's, it's because of the fact is you've been looking at it so long over the years and seeing the title that's on there that it has become almost like second nature for you to believe that that's the name that is yours. So we're going to find out uh, what exactly does the government say they register? Because there's a lot of people under the impression that the government registers people into a system. But does the government actually say that when they're actually being questioned? So this is a letter um, that uh, was sent to someone. I would show a close-up of it because I would just say for reasons of the reference here, um, I'm not going to do that on this particular video, but it is a letter uh, from the government of Ontario. Uh, from the uh, Office of the Registrar General, Vital Statistics, and it is basically um, from the Deputy Registrar General, and the Deputy Registrar General makes a very, very straightforward uh, reply about what they're registering. It says, to be clear, the Office of the Registrar General is responsible for registering information about events. I'm going to definitely highlight and stress information okay about events the office of the registrar general does not register people so if that is the case then how could you be possibly in that system based on what they're registering so they're registering for sure birth events but you have to understand the language they're using. They're not registering people, okay? So they're registering a birth event. And that's the beginning of where we should start looking at things because that is the statement from the government that issues the documents that you're carrying around. So if we're talking about the little wallet size birth certificate, or we're talking about the statement of birth record, they're saying they do not register people, they register events. So uh, that's the end of that part of the video. We're gonna go on to a very next key thing that's involving the documents that they authenticate and what exactly is the government authentication office doing when they authenticate.